All right, welcome to another fun and exciting video. What we will do is we will review our unit on linear equations. Okay, so linear equations, we had to deal with the slope, y-intercept, we had to deal with rearranging the equation from standard form to y uh, equals mx plus b form. We had to also go backwards and rearrange uh, an equation in y equals mx plus b form to standard form, which meant zero had to be on one side of the equation, and we had to do um, word problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off, we're going to do this in a multi-part series, and in the first part, what we're going to do is we're going to just identify the slope and y-intercept. Okay, so I give you a plot, okay, and in this plot, I have uh, two points, and it's interesting because the uh, the y-intercept is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. As you can tell, that's the point where the line crosses the y-axis. This is the line. Okay, so the y-intercept is going to be negative two, which means b equals negative two. Beautiful. Remember, the equation is, in y equals mx plus b form, y equals mx plus b. And this is the y-intercept. m is the slope. So we just got the y-intercept, negative 2. We just need the slope. So what you need is two points on the line. What's beautiful about this is that I've given you two points. I've given you the y-intercept. And I've given you another point right there. So all I have to do is count the rise and the run. So how do I go from the red dot to the blue dot? Well, I go up one unit, two unit, three units. And then I go over one unit. So the rise is equal to three. And the run is equal to one. So my slope is rise over run, so the slope is 3. It's that simple. And so my equation is going to be, and they're not asking for this in the question, they're just asking for the slope and the y-intercept, but the equation would be 3x minus 2. And that's it. Easy peasy. Now, let's do the y-intercept for this equation we've got negative 2 okay so B is equal to negative 2 what is the slope well let's pick out a second point ah there we go this is called the x-intercept by the way because it's where the line crosses the x-axis um, so how do I go from blue to red or red to blue well I go down two units, and I go over one unit. Down two, over one. Negative two, over one. So negative two. Therefore, my equation is negative two x minus two. That simple. Nice. Now this is called a horizontal line. Okay, so I wanna make that clear. Now, we've calculated slopes of horizontal lines, vertical lines, um, regular straight lines. Horizontal lines had a slope of zero. Now, why is that true? Well, if you notice, this line has no rise at all. That means the rise over run will be zero over some number. In this case, how many boxes can I tick off? Four, maybe eight, nine, ten, maybe? Well, zero divided by any number is zero. Just punch that into your calculator. So I've got a slope of zero. Do I have a y-intercept? Yes, I do. The y-intercept is two. B equals two. Therefore, y equals 0x plus 2, which means y equals 2. I want you to remember that. 
the equation of any horizontal line is y equals to a number okay so horizontal means y equals to some number now with that in mind what does vertical mean vertical actually means so this is a vertical line I should add that vertical a vertical line had a slope that was undefined okay so you didn't have a slope a vertical line has the equation x equals to a number x is a constant so this line has no y-intercept it does not cross the y-axis it's parallel to the y-axis okay it goes through the x-axis but not the y-axis there's no y-intercept there's also no slope because if you calculate the slope let's say this is I don't know 10 boxes down rise is 10 the run is non-existent it's zero so M is 10 over 0 10 over 0 is undefined there is no defined slope well how do you get an equation of a vertical line I want you to notice something the line goes through a single x value sorry that was not straight the line goes through a single x value that's better and the x value in this case it goes through is negative 3 what's true about this is that this line goes through all points all points every single point such that x is always equal to in this case negative 3 all these points share common x value so how do you write that as a single equation you just say x equals to negative 3 this is the equation of this vertical line so let's say I have another vertical line whoops that's better and it goes through an x value of 5 what's the equation of this lime green vertical line well in this case it would just be x equals to 5 that's it so whatever x intercept it goes through that's the equation x equals whatever and for the horizontal line whatever y intercept it goes through that's your equation y equals to whatever so that's it that's how you transform a plot into an equation by identifying the slope and y-intercept i hope this video is enjoyable and the next one will identify slope and y-intercept and then we'll go into writing the equation of a line given a slope and y-intercept that should be fun i'll see you in the next one peace out love you bye bye